I just want to take this moment now to highlight how our job is very different to uh, a lot of other people's and, and how what we do for a living gives us a different experience out there in the real world. God, are you going to go on with some celebrity wanker kind of no. thing again? No, there's no rant. It was a situation that happened earlier today to me at the gym. Mm. And what I'm trying to say is I don't think this would happen to anyone else. in any To other... a normal person? Yeah, with any other profession because of what we do. And we just, you know, spill our guts here on the radio. We talk about everything. And last week, a lot of the show, we were talking about me and my vasectomy. Yeah. Someone decided to approach me about it today in a very interesting scenario. I was at the gym. Okay. And I'm in the change rooms after doing the workout. Nude? I was nude. I was in the shower. I had a shower. I've come out of the shower and this guy has spotted me, recognized me and said, hey, Crammy. And I was like, oh, hey, how you going? He goes, how are your balls? <laughs> Mind you, I'm in the showers. You know, like we're already in like this. Is there people around? No, it was just him and I. So and it's not like a communal shower situation. It's not like he was next to me in the shower. And right. I've had my shower. I've got dressed. I've come out. He's there. I'm dressed. I'm ready to leave yep. the shower block. And he's hit me with the whole Crammy. How are your balls? How do you respond to that? Well, awkwardly. I said, oh, yeah, they're uh, still a bit tender. They're still, you know, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. It's so bizarre, like, even having that conversation. Mm. Because no one would ask me how my VJJ is going after I've just gone and had a pap smear. Well, maybe they would, though. I don't know. <laughs> maybe they would because of what we do. No for one them. would. They might. Well, you never know. Social experiment. Next time you're going for a pap smear, we're going to talk about it on the radio and we'll see what happens, all right? But I just didn't know what to do in this situation. The problem was he was standing between me and the door. Oh, and you couldn't get out. So we're here having this like awkward testicle chat. I was like, look, mate, I've got to go. I'm, I'm late for work. So late. And now I've got to change gyms. <laughs> I can't go back to that gym. Never. He's going to be like my ball buddy and he's going to want to talk to me about it now. Every time he sees me, I don't need that. No.